Hello everybody and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. We're back here in our nice little village. What I want to work on today is getting more expansion, getting the rest of these people moved in. You know, you see we only have four laborers. We need more than that, obviously. Getting this up and running and hopefully getting a barn up and running. That would be great. If I could get a barn up and running very soon I'd be very happy but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up um, part of my outer uh, limits here so I'm gonna put that there I'm gonna disable it because I want to start doing a barn out here do the barn chicken coops and goats because that is going to help us a lot and I mean a lot a lot one of these slots in our crop field that we have here will have to be hay because we do need to uh, produce food and I don't want to use our food to feed the animals. That's not a useful way to use our resources. So let's just start preparing this. I will Probably, have, eh, I might not have to edit the ground. I think I can get away with it like there. Get away with that there. And I'm going to go two chicken coops. I think I still have clay, don't I? Yeah, I have 105. Um, yeah. I do. So let's grab an arborist, which is a four by two. That's such an awkward number. That's so awkward, man. Why did you, why did you have to be that? Um, I kind of want to put it out here. Well, I'm not going to put the building out there, but I want to put the, the area that it works on out there. Ugh, it's just such an awkward size. Um, yeah, I think I'll go there, I guess. Villagers and a traveling merchant. I know she's an iron. She is the iron clan. But I don't really have anything I want to buy from you. Because I just don't need you. But we are going to get this work camp up and running. It's the exact same size as this guy. So that one there. It can go right up here. Although I do need to edit the, or flatten the terrain. So I'll flatten the terrain right there. We need more people, though. We need a lot more people. We need people to move in. We need people to move in very, very soon. That would be very useful. So I'm actually going to pause this construction here. Because I don't want that to happen. At all. Literally at all. I'm going to probably set the work camp to go out here and just get wood. Because that's just useful. This arborist building, I am going to prioritize because we really, really want that. Getting the fruit is really useful. That's probably going to go right in here. And I'm going to try and avoid it with the work camp. Luckily, the work camp is really cheap. Yep, there we go. Get that prioritized as well, although I don't really have any people for it. I'll just disable it once they build, get it built. Okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave those. They'll get those built slowly over time. Oh, look, a fire. <laughs> look, fire. Fire. Come on. Scramble, people. Look at them all come. And it's out. 
I love the way they scramble for a fire. Fires suck because they drain a lot of our water, but luckily I have three wells placed down, so we're never going to run out. We're good. We got our second trader here. Um, You want tools? I can't really sell you those. Oh, you had cows? Whoopsies, I kind of hit my mic there. You had cows and you had goats, but I don't have the buildings for them. That isn't fun, but we shall deal with it. We just need people. We need people. I really, really need people. But for now, we're just kind of in a holding pattern. We're just going to kind of let things go. We're, we're doing good. Our food's in a really good spot up here. You know, we have a lot of firewood, plenty of water. We're not really doing bad. Are we doing amazing? Not really. I really want to get a soap shop built, too. Um, that would be really, really important. Probably going to put it right there. So I should probably flatten that terrain right there. I still only have one laborer, which isn't good. Oh, village I immigrated, so now we have two. Still not good. I, I need more. <laughs> it's not very useful. I'd love a 10 or a 12 person immigration. Let's see, what's their immigration chance? Eh, immigration rate 99%. I mean, that's good. It's as high, well, pretty much as high as it can go. So, yeah, I know. It's it's being built. Thank you, game. Uh, I guess I'll just place down the soap shop. Just so that it's there, and then I will the construction so that we don't actually build it I need at least f I need a bunch of people honestly so I think I'm gonna open up two more houses so that we can have more space to have more people so that's useful hmm Okay, what else do I want to do? don't think there's really anything else that I want to do. I do need to build apiaries, but they're not that useful right now. So I think I'll wait on the apiaries for a little while. Because there are a bunch of apiaries built into this format that I'm building over here with these houses. So I don't really need a lot of them per se build another farm right there okay so I'm not gonna worry too much about them but I do need them because they are very very useful honey can be used in medicine can be turned into beer can it just produces a lot so you can sell them it's just all around useful and that's why we need it I think we're definitely going to put the logging camp up here. Because the fort's not going to be too far out. Actually, I should probably put that fort down. So that we know where it is. It's right here, but the slope is too steep. Of course it is. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is slope too steep. Like, I, I get it. You can't build the building there, but it's like... You're annoying me. Okay? You're annoying me. Okay, we should be good. How's that fertility? Fertility's going up. You see, good. That's really, really good. We are almost at the point, I think, one more year. I think year two, and then we'll be ready to go. Um, he doesn't really give a crap.
crap about anything. So we'll toss hay in there because you can only essentially do that. And it does, yeah, it doesn't get hurt by frost, heat, drought. Ugh. Excuse me. Pretty much anything, which is great. I still don't have any extra people. Which is not fun. Because it means that this work camp is going to have to be turned off right away. Because for some reason, nobody is immigrating. Oh, we got a boar. We got a boar. And the boar's running. Yeah, get yourself healed up. Please don't die. Okay, you're going to get turned off. I am going to set its range, though, real quick. Um, it'll go right there. Oi, I, I, I told you off. Come on. And I'm going to get... Slope is still too steep. Huh. Okay. I guess we got to do this again. And see, we're slowly working these down. I think I'd rather prioritize this. Yeah, we'll keep those two prioritized for now because those are a little bit more important. And actually, we'll prioritize these guys just so that we can get them done, hopefully, in this episode. Because that would be nice. And then we can get more peoples. Because peoples are, are they're very good. We're doing really good on food, although a lot of stuff is going to start to spoil, which isn't great but we'll deal with it we'll be fine okay yeah we're doing good we're doing good that should level that out hopefully I can put the fort down soon oh the, I turned off the tannery accidentally too that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Yeah, I guess we'll have two people there. That's fine. We had a few people, uh, a few kids grow up so that we have more people now, which is good. Can always use more people. Can never have too many peoples. So that should help us get a pretty good amount of wood there is some stone mix in there apparently but i don't really care about it it'll they'll mine it slowly okay let's get this forked place down or barracks place down finally okay so that's the farthest edge north so okay, so that's good so my work camp it's not, eh, I'll move it just a little bit. I'll move it right there, just so that when we put down walls, we obviously need one farther out from this, and I don't want to have to deal with all the trees that I'm planting. Who just chopped down a, you just chopped down a tree. That was really loud. Wow. That was very loud. But I don't want to have to deal with, with all the trees that I am planting and, you know, growing with my walls. Because that's not fun. It's never fun. Dang, there's another tree. Those trees are loud. Eggs. Reduce replenishment. I don't care that much. We're going to get eggs from the chicken coop anyways. We don't need these. You know, they, they give me barely anything anyways. So, we'll live. We'll live without eggs for a little bit. 
new villager was born, and we have room for ten more people. It would be great if some people would emigrate. It'd be just wonderful. But knowing my luck, it's not going to happen. Yep, we're just waiting on... Planks. That's kind of our bottleneck right now, is logs into planks. And that'll slowly get better. The more people I get, the more I can really work this work camp. I need to get 25 bricks and 15 iron at some point. Almost certainly from the trading post, because you know, where else am I going to get them? I can't process bricks or iron yet. Those take tier three but once we get that we're gonna be really good oh there's a boar attacking now kill it yes kill it wonderful that is 200 meat for us I always love it when they kill a boar because that just means we're getting a lot of meat it's great Almost as good as when new cows are born in the barns. Mmm, wonderful. I want to get a bunch of barns later on in this playthrough and have like six of them and just flood our city with meat. It'll be wonderful. kind of have a plan for how I want to do that. I think I know how I want to set up little barn areas for a bunch of cows. Add giant pastures and stuff. Oh, it's going to be good. But that is way down the road. We're nowhere near that. That ain't happening for a while. Let's see. Am I going to have room for it there? Yeah, that's not very big. It can go right there. Should be able to fit right there is where that should be able to go. Come on, I need some outside people to emigrate, please. Here comes another trader. I have almost no gold and very few things that I can actually afford to sell. But we'll do what we can. Don't really need to sell anything. We are making gold per month, so not too worried. And I highly doubt any uh, raiders are gonna come, so we should be fine. That's another iron lady. Um, Fifteen of those would cost me so much, and she has nothing. She, I can't buy it. Or sell anything to her. She doesn't care about any of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Next year will be good. So we can remove that. I think... I absolutely think I want beans. I think I'll throw that in there. So that gives us an extra 4% up. That gives us down 1. So we're at 3% up. Flax would allow us to grow clothing. We need to go flax in peace. That'd be just another one percent down, so that would be that'd be still two percent up. That could be a good combo. That could be a good combo. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think I think that's what I'll do. I think that is what I will do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is almost done, the arborist. Then we can start getting fruits going. They're going to take a while to kick into effect because the trees have to grow. But it will be a good start to have them going, which is always good. 
always good. Post deers are really just right in the way. They should scatter and move, though. I am going to try and build this out. Oh, can't. There's deer there, too. Oh, I'll build it a little bit out, but this is a huge... The barn has a huge pasture area that it needs. That's the issue. There's another traveling merchant. What do you want? I could sell you some clothing. Actually... How long? Oh, that's not great. Okay, transfer 15. Please get that really fast. There's a bear attacking. We're going to do that. So that maybe we can kill that bear. Stop eating my freaking berries. You are being very rude, bear. Come on. There we go. Thank you. She's slacking off. Okay. We got it. So now we can buy 15 of this. Buy and transfer. And then just bring the rest of our gold back over. So now we have the 15 iron we need for the work camp. Now we just need 25 bricks. And technically he has 25 bricks. He has the bricks. Um Okay, let's 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 go buy 25 bricks. <laughs> why 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 not? He's got it. Let's go. Let's just see how much 25 would cost. 325. Yep, I will have enough for that. 25 bricks have been bought. All I need now is 25 planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause all of these for right now. Because right now we just need people to move in. And we need to get that work camp upgraded. We get the work camp upgraded. Oh, we're having a great time. Like, it's just massive. If we're going to get so much wood then. Planting trees. More people. It's just going to be wonderful. We just have to get through school that's the issue we are getting more people though slowly but surely i think i can go right there let me check yep okay we're good okay so now we have trees to plant so what i usually do apple trees are some of your best I always plant a three by three of each type, no matter what, because why not? And then we go a two by two of mostly apple trees with some of the others mixed in, because you do need some variety. I mostly just do it because I want to. But it is, you know, just useful. Because they all plant and grow at different speeds, you know. Apple trees take longer, peach trees are shorter. So, like, let me show you. So, apple tree... Lifespan, 800-some months. Peach tree, 300-some months, depending on fertility. Pear tree, 680 or so months. So, of course, your apple tree is going to last you the longest of producing the most food. But 
see now that I planted it, it takes a lot longer to get to maturity here. And it takes a lot longer to get its production capacity up. Pears, and especially peaches, don't take as long to get to their full capacity. And they don't stay there as long, but you need to have them there so that you can balance it out so that you're always producing fruit once everything's fully grown. It just keeps going. That's why I do that, to balance that out. And it's really useful. And I think it's pretty great. That's why I do it. Okay. We're getting close. We're getting very close to kind of being where I want it to be. I'm going to... Mm, I don't need to put another person in there. Because once she's planted, or once he, I think it's he. Yeah. Once he's planted all of them there, uh... He's just going to kind of do nothing because he has to wait until they can start producing fruit. So I'm not going to put a second person in there. It's better once everything's producing, then you put a second person in, then you can harvest them faster. Until then, it's not really useful. Okay, how are we doing? There's a lot of trees here that I can harvest, so let's get those selected. We are starting to go up on wood. We're making actually really good progress on the school, which should helpfully get us more people to actually immigrate. And then we can actually, you know, have people to do things. Because I'm kind of losing my mind. I don't have enough people to do the things that I need them to do. I'm going to get two more hunter cabins because I want to put one down here for these deer. And where did I want the other one? I think I want to put one over here for these boars. Like, there's a lot of boars here. It's four boars. Or do I go up there? I think I go up there because deers are much easier. Yeah, I think that's what I do. I don't, I, deers are just better. Oh, worms. Yay. Yay. Active diseases, worms. Wonderful. We still have all of those. Just, sometimes they'll use like one or two of these and I don't know where. And it drives me nuts because then I'm sitting here going, I literally just bought them. Why did you use them? What we weren't that's that's not helpful. It kills me. But that's what happens. Okay, this guy, you're coming down here. Right there. I mean their hunting radius is just huge. Uh so we're gonna go beans first then flax and I will re look at it also let's see so that's three that's another that's four hay is minus one so we're at three that's plus one that's four that's minus two so we're at two percent plus per year I think that's fine That shouldn't cause any issues in terms of fertility. And it'll slowly go up. We'll keep the weedness and the rockiness down. Which is good. And we'll be producing, you know, moderate levels of food. This one, I'm not really going for a food heavy one. Because we're kind of doing okay. The second one will go more food heavy. But I really need flax. And if I want animals, I need hay. So I want to have those and I want to start storing those in granaries eventually once I get done with the school and maybe one of the barns. Probably 
the barn. Although the barn's really expensive for cows. Maybe the chickens. Yeah, I think I gotta go with the chickens. Alright, so there's no stones in range of this now, so now we're just gonna set it all to wood. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna upgrade it just yet. I wanna get some of these going. Yeah, I wanna get some of those going. But we've got the school now. So now we'll potentially have more people trying to uh, immigrate, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love it. All right. We're getting close. These are almost done. We're still doing good on wood. We're doing good on planks. Little town's starting to grow. I like it. If you guys are enjoying the series, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more, because these videos are going to be coming out pretty regularly. And let me know down in the comments uh, what you want to see more of. Because, you know, if you want to see me explain more about the game, I'm more than happy to do that. If you want to see me, you know, talk about why I do this thing, do that, anything. I'm happy to talk about anything. Let's see here. We're doing good. That's all laid out. I do need to mess around with the paths because you know what? I'm gonna mess around with the paths for a little bit. Oh no, that's uh, that one. Yeah, that one's uh, not that. So I don't want to do that. I hate how it does that. I hate how it tries to do that. That's my problem, is it does that. Seven people! Yay! I do need to open one more house. Because we don't have enough people. Or we don't have enough housing for them. So I'm going to do that. So that's good. We got some people. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. There we go. That's done. Where else do I need roads? I need a road right here. Um, I think I need a road right here. Yeah, I gotta demolish this road real quick. Luckily, roads don't cost anything to build, so I don't particularly care. No, oh, I gotta, I gotta destroy that. This road is being stubborn. I don't like this. You're being incredibly annoying, Road. Can I turn that off? Hold on. Is there a snapping option? It doesn't look like there's a snapping option, which really, really sucks. So, you know what? No road for you. No road's going right there. I'm actually going to start the road right here. Because screw you. You keep wanting to snap. I'm not doing it anymore. I know I need a road right here. Down to the bottom of that. Why did you curve? Why are you curving? These roads. The roads are being stubborn today. I know I need roads all around the trading post. I don't even know if I want to do the rest of the roads, man. It ain't that fun. 
All right, we're going to get this guy upgraded. Get that finished. And then once that's done, I think we'll call that the end of that episode. Let's see what the, uh, she is buying and selling. Absolutely nothing that I can use. But this is looking pretty good. Our word camp is now upgraded. So now we can actually plant trees as well. Not going to do that yet. Although I'm actually going to throw in two more people in it real quick. Just so we can have more things. And we are going to call that right there. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.